Well, let's say somebody gives you a file from Revit. Well, the way they do that is export it out as a DWG. Let's say, say they've done that already. We're going to paste that into a project folder with Carlson here uh, that we've created beforehand. And now we're just going to open that file using Carlson. It's in our project folder here. We're going to open that up. And here it is. Now this file, first thing you're going to notice, it's in architectural units. That's easy to change. So we'll go to the settings and uh, change that setting in, in the IntelliCAD settings. We'll go to the linear units and change it to decimal. And now you'll see that those are no longer tracking in feet and inches, but they're decimal. Now we need to just check to make sure we're working in the right coordinate system. We're going to be working in Southern California. So that's set. Now let's zoom out a little bit here because uh, we're going to want to select everything in this next command, which is to align the file by two known points. And the points are annotated in here. So we're just going to grab the whole thing, snap to the end of the leader here. You can see the, lab the coordinates are labeled. Well, I've already just got those saved in a buffer, so I'm just pasting them in quickly here. So you're picking the source point by the end point snap here, and then I'm going to paste in the coordinate pairs. This is easting, northing in the order, and now it's going to scale it, and you see everything disappeared. Let's zoom to the extents. There it is. You might be able to tell the orientation changed. We're going to use Google Earth to uh, create a file here to test this. We're just going to do it, call it check, and uh, that'll launch Google Earth. We'll select everything, and uh, here it comes in Google Earth. And it should come in near an intersection of two roads in an area that I've already been doing some work. Um, the white shape is part of some things I've been doing already. So yeah, it came in in exactly the right place. And uh, we now know we've got it right. So now what we want to do is stake these piles, these round yellow circles. So we're just going to isolate that layer. And zoom out so we can see all of them. And then we're going to run a Kogo command in survey called create points from entities. We're going to uh, uh, give the description of piles to all the points. And uh, control what we select here. We're going to just leave the inserts and circles toggle on. And we are going to use the same file name for the coordinate file. Uh, save that. Now grab them all. And uh, here we go. In a couple of seconds. Uh, we'll have several hundred points placed at all the piles. You can see if we zoom up here, we're going to have uh, each one with its uh, description of pile, and they're numbered and all ready to go. And if we go to the points menu and list those out, we'll see them in the list. And here they all are. Just scroll down so you can see. Lots of points created in very short order. We're going to save the file and show you what would happen if now we open that up and serve CE. We're going to select that. We'll navigate over here and pick that file and look at it. Uh, first, we're going to check our coordinate system. Yep, we're right. So let's just take a look at it in the uh, viewer here. Okay, here's all the points. Let's say we want to stake to one of those. So we'll go to survey, stake points. Let's say we want to stake uh, 0.59. And there we are. Where we are relative to 0.59, we got to walk a couple hundred feet, and we'll be right on it. It's uh, that quick and easy to go from Revit right into Carlson, create all the points, and be ready for staking.